What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will unbox and review this five-piece set of multi-grip lat pull-down attachments after nine months of use. These are comfortable and ergonomic and won't fatigue your grip like a typical round lat bar. These are low-cost knockoffs of mag grip attachments. I picked up the balance form set for $93.99. And I see the Everyday Essentials set is currently $67.19. You can't even buy one bar for that. Now, let's check them out. First, let's open them up. Here's the box. It says Balance Form slash Everyday Essentials. So, they are exactly the same. I recommend getting whichever one has the lowest cost, because they're the same. So, this is what's included. A bar that's advertised as 33 inches long and measures 33 inches. A bar that's advertised as 24 inches long and measures 24 inches. A bar that's advertised as 22 inches long, but measures 23 inches, just an inch shorter than the other bar. And two 12 inch close grip attachments. And those are the five attachments that are in the kit. The handles on the 33 inch long bar are slightly angled, about 15 degrees. So you can use it with your hands slightly pronated or slightly supinated. The handles on the 24 inch long bar are a neutral grip. The handles are perpendicular to the bar, so the grip will be the same either way you hold it. And the handles on the 22 inch long bar are also slightly angled, about 15 degrees. Again, you can use it with your hands slightly pronated or slightly supinated. Then there's the two close grip attachments. They are quite a bit different. Technically, they can both be used pronated or supinated, so there are several close grip options. Now, let's get into my experience with using them for 9 months. The first thing I encountered was the cable connection. The attachments have a metal eyelet to connect them to the cable carabiner. However, the attachments are too thick, with too much material around, to easily connect a typical carabiner. I had some extra carabiners, so I permanently installed a dedicated carabiner to each attachment. This makes it easy to quickly attach them for use. I did try to use a quick chain link, but they also would not fit. When using them, this is the grip. There is a round bar to wrap your fingers around, and a flat plate to rest the palm of your hand on. I have experimented with all the attachments over the last 9 months. Here is the 33 inch long bar. When it comes to the bars, lately I have favored this one overall. Now let's switch over to the 24 inch bar with the neutral grip. This one also feels nice. I haven't used it in a while, but after making this video, I'll probably work it back in more often. And the last bar is the 22 inch bar, which actually measures 23 inches. So it's pretty much the exact same as the previous bar. The difference is that the handles are rotated 15 degrees, so you have the option of a slight pronated or supinated grip, instead of a neutral grip. So it offers a few options. When it comes to the close grip attachments, this one is comfortable supinated, as shown here. This feels nice, but it's uncomfortable pronated, as shown here. The handles just don't fit right in my hands. It doesn't feel good. Switching to the other close grip attachment, this one feels okay supinated, as shown here, but not as good as the previous attachment felt. And this one is comfortable pronated, as shown here, way more comfortable than the previous attachment. I think this one was specifically designed for a pronated grip, and the previous one was specifically designed for a supinated grip. Now, let's move on to rows. Here's the 33 inch long bar. The grip is kind of wide, but it works if that's what you like. And here's the 24 inch bar. This is the one that I pretty much use exclusively for rows. It's the most comfortable for me. And here is the 22 inch bar, which again is actually 23 inches. So it's pretty much the same as the previous 24 inch bar shown. The difference is a 15 degree angle in the grips. So it gives you a few different grip options. Onto the close grip attachments. I will show them both used in a supinated grip and a pronated grip. So two options for each attachment. Four options total. Neither of them is anything special for me personally. I don't really find any of them comfortable. I very much prefer the standard row handle for close grip. One issue is that the attachment hits my body and restricts movement compared to a regular row attachment. As far as quality, the rubber coating is comfortable and has held up great. No damage has taken place, and I don't have any complaints with the quality. The only thing close to a quality issue is the metal grommets have slightly deformed with use, but it's not a structural or functional problem. 
there is steel plate under the rubber, and the grommet is just cosmetic. To wrap up, this is a great set. The attachments are well built and offer a variety of different grips. Compared to other attachments, the cost is pretty amazing. Even if you only favor two or three of them, they're still worth it. If you're considering these or have any interest in them, I definitely recommend them. I don't think you'll be disappointed. As always, I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.